Hey guys, we're going to do facial recognition, but facial recognition of a younger version of yourself. So before we start, you need two pictures of yourself currently or recently. One, it can be 20, 30, 10 years ago in my case, actually 12. Uh, and another person, just to compare. Okay, import these necessary libraries after you do pip install face recognition. Remember, if you're using Google Colab, you don't need your virtual environment installed. <clears throat> image equals face recognition. Load your first image. Face locations equals the face locations of the image. There you go. And then splice like that. The landmarks list from the image. And then now we get to Marshall and Johnny. Okay. You repeat these steps for the same guy. Okay. So Marshall load image file. Face encoding of Marshall. That too. And then Johnny Depp. Same thing. Known face names equals Marshall, Johnny Depp, unknown. Unknown image, you do the same process. Now, here's where we get to face encodings. I'm going to show you two ways to do this. Okay, there's face encodings equals Marshall and face locations. Okay. Both had the same results. And then uh, there's this for the other step. Okay. So face distances equals known face encodings, unknown image encoding. Best match index equals MP argmin face distance. Name equals unknown if best match index return the names, no names, of the best match index. Okay, so pill image from before, which was me, name, best match index. Name, okay. Now, remember what I showed you guys? This right here, Face distance, not face distances. Okay, face encodings, unknown image encoding. If the face encodings equals zero, it returns zero. Len all norm subtract in case, you know. Now you're going to need that for the second step. C print name. Okay, so RGB, okay, the unknown image, which was that, and then import these libraries. Now, if you have a larger picture, change this right here. Change this to text equals the thing you're trying to show the prediction of, which would be the name. We could do batch match index, but it'll just show the distance, which is zero. Okay. CV2 IM show process. So basically, remember with Google Colab, you got to import the CV2 IM show from up there. Now, here's one thing we can do. Remember CV2 IM, right? Just like with Pandas 2 CSV, you can create a new picture. Just like with Pandas, you can create a new data frame. Now, let's look at new. There we go. Okay, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Be sure to hit like and subscribe. Next time, I think we're going to deploy in the cloud with SageMaker. I've kind of neglected that.